What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness, a smart and sustainable and functional approach to martial arts and fitness for, for older guys. So today I want to talk to you guys about Wing Chun, yeah, and why it doesn't work. Well, a couple of things, okay? It doesn't work because it's, it's not adapted to real life fighting, to combat. And now if you don't, if you, don't, if you disagree with this, I would, uh, I would invite you to go watch uh, videos on YouTube. Go to YouTube, type in real street fights or just street fights, okay? And now when you look at a, a, a real fight and how it goes down, it's very chaotic. It's not, um, it's not at all what, uh, what, what it looks like when you train Wing Chun. And that's the problem because you can only fight the way you train. And if you train in a way that's not even realistic to what's actually going to happen when you do get into a fight, it's not going to work. Uh, it might work on your partner who's doing... who's le who, a, a, a cooperative partner, okay, who's doing the exact same thing you're doing, which is basically standing in front of you, okay, square, okay, with their guards very low, and, you know, just touching each other's hands and doing these nice, really, really beautiful type of movements that seem very legit. It looks like, yeah, man, I could, I could, Take his arm down here, slap him in the fucking face, boom, punch him right here. You know, I could feel his hands. I could do a lap sao and, and blah, 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 and blah, blah. I could do rapid fire punches, and then I could hit him like this, hit him like that. Okay, but that's because it's your buddy, and he's standing square in front of you, and he has the same guard, and he's playing the same game. Now, you go up against a guy who, let's say, just wants to knock you the fuck out, well, guess what? He's not going to be like this. And he's just going to come at you and he's going to punch the fucking shit out of you. And if he knows how to kick, he'll kick your fucking legs out. And he'll move. And if you by chance happen to hit him like this, you got to keep in mind these punches aren't really strong. Like you slap. You ain't, you ain't knocking nobody out with this unless the guy's a fucking pussy, you know? But uh, you get a guy that's like uh, kind of pissed and, and motivated to whoop your ass and, and you... you punch him like this, he'll just get even more pissed and then he'll, uh, he'll fuck your shit up. So, that's, so, so another reason um, that I think it doesn't work. So we covered the stance. I find the stance is terrible because you're not mobile. You can't go forward, you can't go backwards, you can't go uh, left or right. You know, you're very uh, limited when you're standing square and plus your feet are flat. That's how they generally train in, in Wing Chun. And, um, also, your guard is really low, so I mean, it opens up uh, your jawline here for everything, you know? Like, uh, you can get head kicked, you get punched in the face, you get uppercut, all kinds of stuff, you know? And, like, this, and, and even your, and, like, I mean, your stance, you know? If you're standing like that, you know, kind of, uh, you know, square and flat-footed, you know, I mean, if the guy decides to kick you or just take you down, it'll be so easy, it's not even funny. So, that's the thing, uh, those are the things that I, I've noticed that are, are, are wrong with uh, Wing Chun. And also, the sticky hand thing, I mean, it sounds cool, right? Like, to be able to touch the guy's forearms, arms, and like to feel where his movement is coming from, and to like adjust that way you can. But the thing is, in a real fight, nobody, nobody's going to let you touch their hands and stick. It's not going to happen. You're not going to, you're not going to be able to, 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 to do that at all. I mean, the punches are going to come fast and strong. And, you know, like if you're going to try to feel it out like this, you're just going to get knocked the fuck out. That's what's going to happen. So, I mean, I'm sorry to say, but there's too many holes in Wing Chun. Uh, if you want to learn it um, as a... Uh, you know, as a martial art, as a hobby, something to do for fun. I mean, it's better than doing aerobics, right? You're learning some fun stuff with your hands and you feel like, but you got to recognize that. And, and all, like, if you do it on, on some guy who's not expecting it, then yeah, you know, you might catch him here and there. But I mean, whatever, you know, it's, it's, eh, eh. So, 
learn it as a, if you're going to learn it, then learn it for fun, as a hobby, uh, as an art, because, you know, you like to play with the wooden dummy and you like to, like, you know, do this and that. But um, best believe the shit doesn't work. So don't go thinking that you could actually be able to defend yourself, okay? Maybe you can against a kid, a child, or a very weak type of person, like, you know, skinny, frail, a woman, uh, but it's, it's not going to work. So, I mean, really, you're just going to be uh, wasting your time if you actually want to learn uh, something that works, okay? Because it doesn't work. Like, I, I know you'll say Bruce Lee came from Wing Chun. Yeah, but there's a reason why he incorporated boxing, jiu-jitsu, uh, judo, fucking taekwondo, uh, fencing, you know, concepts of fencing anyway, and, and a whole bunch of other shit. Because in the end, and he kept, I'm not saying everything is garbage. Uh, there are probably one or two things, concepts that are very interesting. But all in all, no. Like, do something else, man. Um, you know, I, I know it sounds fun and it looks realistic, like the wooden dummy with all the movies and shit like that. But you're gonna get your ass fucking kicked if you if you practice this shit. Practice something real. Like instead of doing that, man, just fucking go do boxing. Seriously. At least there's actual sparring. There's no sparring, and and, and that's another thing with uh, some of these martial arts is that there's no fucking sparring in it. So if you can't spar, buddy, you can't fight. Okay. And that's it for now. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.